7 a.m. Oh, God, I've been here all night. Lizzie's going to be worried sick about me. Lizzie? That's uh, my, uh, my, my wife, I think. <laughs> God, I'm really out of it. Can I see your driver's license? Absolutely sure. Oh. Yeah, I... <laughs> you know what? I, I, I think it must be um, in my briefcase at home. My, my address is 1432 Bent Willow. Um, oh, no, that was my address in junior high school. I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the vehicle. Oh, officers, I, I, please, I, I know this looks really bad, but there, there's a very good reason that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm dazed and confused and drooling in my car. What took so long? Bob wouldn't go down? I dozed off somewhere in the middle of Hush Little Baby and fell into his crib. <laughs> Thank God he said, hey, I already ate, or I would have smothered him. <laughs> Rough day, huh? Oh, non-stop. The park, Baby Gap, the supermarket, which took forever because Bob had to name all the lobsters in the tank and then had to be consoled when some woman bought Herbie. <laughs> what are you doing? Listening to your day. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. You married a very talented man. I can do many, many things at once. Honey, mm -hmm. I'm way too tired. Well, <sighs> well, you, you really wouldn't have to do that much. You could just sort of lie there. I, I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, I, I, I did mean it like that, but I was hoping that by the time it worked its way through my brain and came up my mouth, it would somehow be more romantic. <laughs> More romantic. I don't know how, unless you wanted me to put a bag over my head. <laughs> Honey, I know that we don't visit as much as we did before Bob came along, but when I'm this tired, which I know seems like all of the time, I, I don't feel that our visits are quality visits. All our visits are quality visits. Sweetie, mm -hmm. if I don't get some sleep, I'll be worthless tomorrow. Okay. Night. Uh, all right, how about this? How about I get up early with Bob tomorrow and you sleep in? In fact, if it would increase the, the frequency of our visits, I, I'd get up with Bob every morning. Every morning? That's my offer, baby. Oh, if you are willing to do that, you can write your own ticket, my friend. Unlimited visits anytime, any place. It's a deal. <laughs> deal. Mm. Starting tomorrow. Really? Mommy won't be getting up with me in the morning anymore? That's right, Bob. From now on, the first couple of hours of every day are just you and me. Guy time. All right, guy time. What do we do during guy time? We're going to do guy things. We're going to guzzle milk and burp, and, and we're going to go down to the donut shop. The guy that owns it has an eye patch, just like a pirate. Arrgh. The worldly topic of the two most important men in my life discussing. Daddy's going to take me to see a pirate. Really? How'd you sleep last night? Oh, fantastic. What time did you guys get up? Oh, 5.15. I feel so guilty. Oh, don't. We're doing great, aren't we, Bob? Better than great. I like guy time. Guy time, guy time, guy time! <laughs> well, Bob, the day shift is punched in. I am off to work. I will see you later. Yes, you will see me later, sport. We have a deal, remember? <sighs> you know, I don't have to be in the office until 9.30. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, stay. You and me and Mommy can all have fun together. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Look at you two. This is incredible. Mm, you were pretty incredible yourself last night. You know, I gotta admit, I was a little skeptical about this at first, but this is working out great. Bob's loving it, you're loving it, I'm loving it. How long have you been watching TV? Not long, not long. Just Barney. 
Clifford, Teletubbies, Arthur, Zaboomafu. Hey, what's the first rule of guy time? Don't, Don't talk, talk about, about guy time. time. <laughs> Walter. What did we say about limiting TV? Okay, I'm not trying to use this as an excuse, but Bob got up at five again, and he woke me up three times last night. All right, I'll let it slide this time, but don't let it happen again, mister. I'd hate to be any less incredible tonight. <laughs> Mommy now, remember? <laughs> Mommy! 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 You want me to go? No, no, no. Oh, I... Deal's a deal. Mm -hmm. I'm coming, Bob. I'm coming. What is it, buddy? I... Oh! Timmy the train! Oh, we've got to get you some toys that don't have cow catchers on them. <laughs> Dad, I had that scary dream again. The, uh, the scary frog dream? Nah. The scary elephant dream? Nah. The one where the wheels fall off the wheels in the bus and it runs over Bert and Ernie. Dreams aren't real, Bob. We've, we've talked about that. Sure seemed real. Bert was hit so hard his eyebrow fell off. <laughs> he and Ernie are both fine, I promise you. Do you think you can go back to sleep now? Uh, Daddy, isn't it time for breakfast? No, no, Bob. It's it's three in the morning. Breakfast isn't till seven. Okay. Go to sleep now. Night, Dad. Good night. <laughs> Is he okay? He's he's fine. Stepped on that stupid Timmy the train and cut my toe. Why don't we just buy him a set of steak knives to play with? Don't bleed on the sheets. They're the good ones. <laughs> Daddy, is it seven yet? No, not yet, Bob. Not yet. Try to go back to sleep, okay? Okay. Is it seven now? <laughs> A lot of things in here that most people don't. But I've seen a lot of miracles too. Here in the ER, critical decisions are made every minute. But for pain management, the choice is clear Tylenol. It's the first choice of emergency rooms nationwide. Not Advil, not Aleve, Tylenol. When the stakes are high, you bring them here. Tylenol. More emergency rooms take comfort in our strength. It's a boy. I want to be pampered by natives. I want to taste something exotic. I want to get closer to my children. I want to... For special offers on vacation packages, log on now to UniversalOrlando.com. A vacation from the ordinary. This weekend, Enterprise Rent-A-Car announces special low rates from just $9.99 a day. Friday till Monday from just $9.99 a day. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. When you think of Italy, you think of things like the latest fashions. Want to go to Subway? But best of all, great tasting bread. Our new roasted garlic on Italian starts with classic Italian bread, and then we top it with roasted garlic and spices and bake it all together. Subway! La, la, la.
Forget scrubbing, rinsing, even adding a separate rinse aid. Now food's dissolved away, leaving only shine. Try Cascade Complete. Skip the sink. Dixie Carter and Delta Burke reunite for the first time since Designing Women. You make sure you take advantage of it all, don't you? An all-new Family Law, CBS Tonight. This Survivor is as good as the first season. All new CBS Thursday. So listen, went to a party this weekend, and who should be there but that fine British actor, Mr. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman? Yeah, so I overhear him complaining about how he's always miscast as vampires and freaks and weirdos and... Walter. Hi, how are you? With you. So... I introduce myself as a junior agent from our firm and talk up how he's a big star and how we can generate the same heat for him as Hanks or Clooney. Bottom line is, he's expecting a call from you to set up a meeting. Thank you. Good work. Anything else I should know about him? Yeah, don't go on and on about how good he was in Forrest Gump. Yeah, apparently he wasn't in that one. <laughs> Say, have you met Lydia? Oh, Lydia, the tattoo lady. What's that? that folks adore so it's Lydia, the tattooed lady. So Why is your father singing it in Bob's room at 5.30 in the morning? Oh, who knows where he does anything. The man smokes cigars in the shower. He's, he's an enigma. Okay, okay, okay. I, I asked him to help me out a little bit. You said you didn't mind losing a couple hours sleep in the morning. I don't, but but if this allows my father to have a little extra time with Bob and I get an extra hour's sleep, what's the harm in that? Maybe I'm just upset because I didn't think of it first. Well, it's painful to be outfoxed. <laughs> I wasn't outfoxed. I was outcheated. Oh, no, you were outfoxed, no, my love. Foxy, foxy, foxy. Sam, hi. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, no, not at all. We were just, uh... Bob wanted to come in to say hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Bob. Morning, sweetie. Okay, that said, let's go get you dressed. Well, we're up. Yeah, we're totally awake. <laughs> what do you want to do? We could read. <laughs> or we could play buckle. <laughs> I can't find his socks. Where are they? They're in the sock drawer. I looked in every drawer. I didn't see any socks. Well, Dad, they're very small socks. I have very small feet. I'll look again. Maybe we should just go back to sleep. Sweetie, if this deal isn't working out for you, we can always call it off. I, I think it's working out perfectly. I, I, I couldn't be any happier with how it's working out. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Are you sure this is the right tray? Yes, of course it's the right tray. Here, hold this. There's a hidden button. Where's the button? Show me the button. I'll show it to you later, Dad. Something's burning. Oh, 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 oh the, the milk. <laughs> I want my cereal. It's coming, Bob. It's coming. Just, just be patient, okay? How hard can it be to make cereal? I don't know, Dad. Maybe just, just a little bit harder than it is to put his bib on right side out. <laughs> oh, I thought it was one of those faded look bibs. Remember how everything was faded in the 70s? <laughs> I'm so tired right now, I can't even remember my own name. It's Daddy. Thank you, Bob. Can I watch TV? No, no, no. Mommy said no more TV, remember? What's wrong with the little TV? Dad, I, I have to explain everything to him. I, I can't explain everything to you. Looks like someone had their eggs grumpy side up this morning. Well, I'm sorry, but I, I, I tend to get a little cranky when I haven't gotten my full eight minutes of sleep. Dad, you said we were going to play a game. Dad, do me a favor. P play a little peekaboo with him, okay? But uh, I, I don't know the rules of peekaboo. Is it, is it the same as patty cake? It's peekaboo. <laughs> Okay, you, you, you cover your face with your hands, you uncover it, and you say peekaboo. I don't want to get out of my chair. You gotta have your breakfast first. Dad, please, I'm begging you, just, just try the peekaboo with him, okay? All right, all right. Peekaboo! <laughs> 
that right? <laughs> seen it before. There's the eye roll, the heavy sigh, the blank stare, and the ever popular eye roll with the heavy sigh. But don't let that stop you from talking to your kids about not smoking. Because it's not about their reaction here. It's about their reaction here. Hey, do you want a cigarette? No, thanks. Talk to your kids about not smoking. They'll listen, even if they don't show it. My favorite movie is Lion King. The Lion King. The Lion King. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. I'm a lion and I rule the jungle. I'm a beautiful princess. My best friend is Snow White. Chevy Tahoe is the only large SUV with the security of Autotrack four-wheel drive, so you can impress people or avoid them altogether. Chevy Tahoe, like a rock. When the power goes out, one family will get a chance to reconnect. You know what this reminds me of? Something sad and cold and boring. Everybody loves Raymond. CBS Next. Wednesday on 60 Minutes 2. Is cancer or heart disease in your future? The answer is in your genes. So is the cure. Visit the next frontier of science, Wednesday at 8, 7 Central. How's my hard-working man? Good. Good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just... Um... I'm really wiped out. You said that last night. I know. <clears throat> Thanks, anyway. Thanks, anyway? You sound like I just offered you a turkey sandwich. Oh, I mean, you, you know I, uh, I love turkey, and if I was gonna have a turkey sandwich, there's nobody's turkey I would rather have than your turkey. Stop saying turkey. <laughs> Bob is going to be up in just a few hours, and I'm just... I got a big day at work tomorrow, so I... Okay. All right. Well, we could just talk and cuddle. Mm. Just have a little quality time, hmm? Mm. This is such a treat, Mom. I can't remember the last time I had a mani-pedi. That's my little way of saying welcome back to the land of the living. <laughs> Raising an infant really takes it out of you. And you think it's ever going to end. The sleep deprivation, the diapers, the crying. But then, once you're past it and looking back, you realize how quick it all goes. Mm. At least that's what Consuela, your nanny, told me before she died. <laughs> Consuela didn't die. Oh, I'm talking about Consuela 1. You only remember Consuela 2. There's two Consuelas? Well, not anymore. <laughs> You know, I must say, it is really wonderful of Walter to get up with Bob every morning. I have never known a man willing to give up his sleep to do that. Yeah, well, my man does. Only thing is, I sort of miss my mornings with Bob. Our little discussions, seeing him in his crib in the early morning light. So beautiful, like a Renaissance painting. If there's one thing a man hates more than losing his sleep, it's Renaissance paintings. <laughs> but there's something else going on, Lizzie, you're not telling me about. Okay, fine. We, we, made, we made this little deal. It's about sex, isn't it? <laughs> Mother, I'm not discussing this with you. You caught him having an affair, and this is his penance. No! Oh. Oh, well, good. <laughs> Can I ask you something? What? When things were good between you and Dan? Yeah. Did he ever, you know, lose interest? Oh, darling. Walter's getting up every morning with the baby. You said it yourself. It's exhausting. Yeah, well, he's been exhausted plenty of times. He's never turned me down before. 
Well, excuse me, I... Give him a special evening. Remind him why he promised to love you and you alone for the rest of his life. Okay. <laughs> I will. Oh, honey, you really gonna trust me on this? I guess I am. Well, trust me on this, too. Oksana, heat up the wax. <laughs> be brave, sweetie. It must be fun having your dad get up with you every morning, huh? It was the first day or two, but now it's not so great. We never went to see that pirate donut guy, and this morning he was so tired he tried to diaper my head. <laughs> I mean, I know he's trying his best, but what was wrong with the way things were before? Well, Bob, the great thing about being able to talk is that you can tell them how you feel. Can't. Daddy loves our guide time in the morning. Mommy loves sleeping in. Everybody's happy. Everybody except you. I was happy before they changed everything. Well, you gotta get used to it. Parents pull this kind of thing all the time. Kind of makes you wonder what we have them for anyway. Hey, if it weren't for my mommy and daddy, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. You know about that. Sure. They bought the house. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I've been driving to the same office every day for the past five years, always take the same route. Today, I end up in Calabasas. <laughs> Is Gary Oldman here yet? Not exactly. Walter, say hello to our new client, Mr. Gary... Coleman. Hey, Walter. Hey. What happened? I laid this thing in your lap. I could have sworn I called Gary Oldman's people. You know, my agent told me everything you said about me being leading man material. I gotta tell you, I like the way you think. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, I, I'd like to reestablish my image so people start thinking of me for roles that are meaty and uh -huh. dramatic. Yes. Who's gonna play Bond once Brosnan leaves? Check this out. Shake that martini. Don't stir it. Oh, look. Snacks that are spreadable. Wait, Walter, what's wrong? <laughs> I can't take it, Lizzie, please. No candles, no music, no, no frilly. I, I, I gotta have some sleep. Well, this could have been humiliating. If I had been lying here in something really revealing, feeling vulnerable after being rejected two nights in a row, make that three. I can't do it. I just can't do Please it. stop saying that. I'm talking about getting up with Bob. You've got to do it, Lizzie. Let's face it, God just made women stronger than men. They, that's why they can endure things that we can't, like like childbirth and, and, and watching ice dancing. You think just because I'm a woman, I'm immune to sleep deprivation? OK, yeah, sure. Walter. Do you have any idea how much trouble I went to for this evening? I got my mom to sit with Bob on her Oprah book club night. I had strange women bore odd wax in areas that should not have odd wax near them, let alone strange women. This is how they torture people, by keeping them up for days on end and just talking and talking. Fine. Sleep all you want for all I care. And talking. And that's how I ended up here. I was just on my way to go buy her some flowers or something. Next time, you just say, new dad with baby. Could have saved us 30 minutes. <laughs> morning, sleepyhead. Oh, so big. Did you have pleasant dreams, my angel? More like a nightmare. Do me a favor, OK? Never let Grandpa play peekaboo with me again. Ever. I believe this is my shift. It's okay. I can do this, honey. I can. I just need to find a better way to deal with it. That's all. Can I say something? I really like my morning guy time with Dad. See? Two votes to one. But I really miss my mornings with my mommy. Isn't there a way we can do both? You know, like take turns or something. Well, sure, he's gonna think of that. He's the one who's been getting all the sleep. We'll work something out, sweetheart. Something that works for all of us. 
You want to swing a little before breakfast? You sound just like that TV show Grandma and I watched last night about the Rat Pack. Let's swing, baby. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. I'm sorry about last night. You should have told me you were having a rough time. Well, you were happy and Bob was happy, and how could I tell you that I couldn't do for 10 days what you've been doing for six months? Yeah, well, now I know what it feels like to be rejected by your spouse. What do you think about trading off mornings? We'd both be getting more rest. Hmm. We'd have extra energy for other things. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Might be nature's way of tricking us into giving Bob a sibling. What would be so bad about that? Frank punched numerous reporters, but he always knew how to treat the ladies. Sometimes two and three at a time. Maybe we should wait. Race through the most exotic places on Earth. Don't miss an all-new Amazing Race, CBS Wednesday. I know my daughter. She's just like me. Works for every grade she gets. She thinks I dress like an idiot. And she wishes her chest were bigger. <laughs> she knows people who do drugs. I know she doesn't do them. I know. Because I ask. I ask all the time. When it comes to allergies, we're both pollen, cat, dust. But her allergy medicine was only approved for the pollen. So my doctor switched me to hers. She's always copying. Why would I keep an allergy medicine not approved for all my allergies? Most people with allergies have both indoor allergies, like dust and pet dander, and outdoor allergies, like tree and grass pollen. If your allergy medicine isn't working for you indoors and out, talk to your doctor about switching to prescription Zyrtec. Zyrtec has a proven history of treating both indoor and outdoor allergies. In fact, doctors prescribe it to millions of people all year long. And with Zyrtec, just one pill gives you 24-hour relief. In studies, drowsiness was the most common side effect. Others included fatigue and dry mouth. Most side effects were mild or moderate. Most people weren't bothered by them enough to stop taking Zyrtec. Ask your doctor about switching to Zyrtec and free samples. Zyrtec. That's Zyrtec. Lots of allergies. Just one Zyrtec. Starts with just one visit to your doctor. This Survivor is as good as the first season. CBS Thursday. Don't miss the intrigue. There's a conspiracy! And fun on an all-new Survivor. Hey, it's me, Rosie O'Donnell. Yep, that's me! Join host Rosie O'Donnell for Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice 2002. Bigger, louder, and messier than any other award show. Anytime, anywhere. Saturday, April 20th at 8, 7 central. If you want something neat and tidy, watch something! For the note. Wednesday, West Wing's a repeat, so why not get into an all-new Amazing Race? Yes! As teams race from Thailand to exotic Hong Kong, but uncovering a clue in this maze. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. They take skills they never knew they had. I can't believe it. Don't miss an all-new Amazing Race, CBS Wednesday.